ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் கேட் ஃபாரம்லேருந்து சரவணன் கோயம்புத்தூர் கேட் ஃபாரம்லேருந்து ஸோ இப்போ அட் ப்ரெசென்ட் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கேட் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஆர் ஓவர் யூ நோ வெரி வெல் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் இஸ் கண்டக்டட் பை ஐஐசி பெங்களூர் அண்ட் டிக்ளேர் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தட் தி ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் அப்ளைட் ஃபார் திஸ் ஐஐடி என்ஐடி அட்மிஷன்ஸ் ஸோ இன் விச் அண்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் அவர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் மிஸ்டர் அஸ்வத் Uh, earlier one year before joined for this particular coaching and got into the good rank in gate examinations with the good score also this is what uh, score card of this uh, aswath and uh, scored all india rank in 66 actually biomedical recently introduced the, one of the paper and the third year is the uh, 2024 is itself third year third th- third year paper because uh, two more year only uh, the exam paper was introduced in which he is getting into good rank in uh, examination 66 in which he was applied uh, uh, so many exams uh, sorry so many uh, iit and nit and uh, today the year uh, 2024 july he got admission in iit congratulate uh, mr aswath and uh, meanwhile we can uh, i will ask you some few questions uh, how you prepare get exam how it is useful for uh, coming juniors uh, how to prepare and handle this particular uh, uh, preparation will uh, based on that you can explain uh, so sure. first question um, can you introduce yourself which college you have been studied and uh, graduated and uh, other details yes sir uh, i am ashwath uh, uh, as introduced uh, i am from kit kalinger karnan institute of technology coimbatore uh, uh, it is based in papambatti pirivu Uh, which is uh, near to sulur so i just got into the get preparation just before 8 months here and i was uh, and i was having a good faculty members to uh, train me over here i'll just uh, uh, let you know some other details uh, now thank you so how did you get admission in iit because uh, the at present getting into admission in iit there are uh, uh, you know certain pa- procedure to uh, because since you gone through the root cause so if you tell about uh, how to get admission in iit in which if you get a good rank how to approach how to apply you now what are the procedure so that uh, the upcoming students will get benefited yes uh, so basically uh, when you try to get uh, admitted into iit uh, you should first apply for apply in the cop portal which is common admission portal which usually opens uh, once in a year after after your gate exams so you will be uh, guided uh, by the institute uh, to apply for the uh, co portal so once you apply in the co portal we, you will be open to all iit admission portals so you uh, applying in co portal is not just the uh, part so you will have to apply in each iits uh, separately so uh, what 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 do you would do is uh, you should just select the iits with your courses or your sub courses uh, uh, let me say for me i had biomedical engineering so i ch- i just chose biomedical instrumentation biomedical imaging and uh, clinical engineering and every sub courses i have just chosen so you will be given four to eight choices in each iit portals which just depends upon the uh, iit uh, so for, for uh, like say for madras we'll have eight uh, choices to uh, eight choices which we can uh, apply for and for uh, bombay we'll have four to five choices so like that i uh, we can apply uh, for the choices based on the institutes so once you apply for the uh, once you apply in the uh, iit's portal you will get all the choices uh, and you will have to enter the cop id that's it so then you will be updated in the cop portal about the vacancies and uh, what are the seats which you have allotted so you will be given actually uh, three rounds you will be given time so you can choose uh, you can uh, you you will have three options one is for accept and one is for wait and one is for reject so if you give, you you can uh, you can choose wait option for for uh, for the same course for only three cop rounds you will have uh, around 10 cop rounds uh, so you can choose any one course to wait and can look uh, if any other vacancies are getting uh, arose from the any other institutes so after that uh, when i got uh, clinical engineering uh, i just uh, chose accept and after after getting into the iit madras portal i just got into uh, uh, the payment option and after the payment option you will be given uh, to uh, either upgrade your course or stay with the option which you have offered with so the option which i was offered with is clinical engineering and but i had uh, i had a thought of getting biomedical engineering which was the first choice Uh, we can fill up to eight choices but uh, the foremost choice was uh, biomedical engineering so i get i just gave yes 
so uh, on further cop rounds you will be uh, seen if there are any vacancies and if your marks and if you are eligible you will be given uh, you will be awarded with that vacancy and the uh, the other seat which you have first chosen will get rejected one uh, once you chose the uh, foremost one so that's how i got biomedical engineering a leading clinical engineering in iit madras so basically uh, i'll summarize it and uh, basically you have to apply individual iit as well as coap portal that is what co portal common admission uh, platform uh, portal in which you have to appear so this is mainly for uh, one students in, our, uh, in order to get one admissions whereas the students will not get into the many more iit admission right yes. so here there is a one procedure is uh, not to select iit uh, you need to first select the course in which you have to choose the yeah. iits right so this is what so if you get a rank then followed by you can apply and uh, my question is uh, is there any interview further for uh, applying this particular uh, for choosing this particular biomedical engineering or uh, directly you got into the admissions that de that depends upon the iit sir uh, actually uh, iit bombay conducts uh, interviews and written test iit madras doesn't con uh, doesn't conduct any interviews so i attended iit bombay interview too uh, but before talking about the interview uh, you will have a written test which just contains only the basic questions so uh, you will be given the syllabus for the written test and you will have to prepare for the written test very basically you may not uh, confuse with much more complicated concepts just understand the basic things you will be you will be getting a good mark to just uh, shortlist into the interview so that uh, uh, that depends only upon the iit which conducts uh, its so one more question since you are in the biomedical engineering you choose in biomedical in pg so why don't you choose other department like uh, uh, vlsi design or maybe in aeronautical aerospace right there are so many other disciplines also you say you are eligible but you are not chosen uh, what is the reason any any reason in this actually i just wanted to enter into core biomedical field uh, in any mnc or any manufacturing industry which manufactures uh, pure biomedical components so i just wanted to choose either biomedical engineering or the imaging systems or the clinical engineering so i tried my level best to get biomedical engineering and i have got that yeah. so you have not applied for the other uh, uh, rest of the uh, stream okay so the next question uh, how did you prepare for gate examinations uh, since the february is exams uh, you came to our institute around 7 months before right so how did you prepare for the gate examination and can you explain uh, this uh, we will be having weekly classes on gate forum so I, I i just attended every classes which i uh, which i have got, got, which was conducted here actually i applied for two courses so uh, i wanted to understand the electronics completely so i just attended all the saturday classes and the weekend classes which was conducted here and uh, the faculty who guided me uh, who guided us uh, uh, gave us uh, uh, more shortcuts uh, and uh, we were we were concreted on the uh, base of the subject so let's say for analog and digital circuits and uh, for measurements we were we were given the basic idea on what the problems uh, there would uh, contain and uh, the basement was uh, made very clear and uh, daily i would prepare for 2 to 3 hours uh, so which would also be guided by the same faculty on the concepts which we have to go through so for one subject we will have around 3 uh, weeks uh, to cover the entire to entire the to entire topics so in that 3 weeks we'll have a few concepts um, uh, learnt in our home and uh, most of the concepts will be covered in the gate forum classes so that's how i learnt uh, many uh, concepts so the next question how many subjects studied in gate exam why i am asking this question is uh, there are lot of subjects in gate exam in biomedical as well as other streams as well so there are about nearly 12 subjects most of the department but in this 12 subjects how many su subjects you were undergone and uh, uh, how many subjects you gave in importance okay in your discipline and how to handle this uh, preparation uh, further to the uh, further upcoming students uh i i basically uh, gone through uh, sincere preparation on seven subjects i just left three which were which in which i was weak so uh, the other in the other seven subjects uh, other seven uh, departments the engineering mathematics is the foremost department which we have to concentrate and the uh, general aptitude which is uh, which is quite different from this the that 
should also be given equal importance to the subject uh, we will get uh, we will get a good marks in uh, when we concentrate on those two subjects uh, after which we will have to concentrate on the core subjects i just gave importance to seven subjects uh, basically the electronics like analog and digital and then measurements and then uh, signals and systems uh, control systems uh, then the anatomy and physiology which was my core uh, and the radiological equipments and a few and two more subjects yeah uh, did you attend any gate interviews or uh, iit admissions interview yes sir uh, i uh, i gone through the iit bombay's written test in which i got passed and i was uh, entered into the interview uh, i was asked with uh, only the general questions and not any more uh, so the students uh, is required to prepare more for interview or is uh, gate subjects preparation itself sufficient the uh, core knowledge should be uh, there only a few basic questions will be asked in the interview and they may ask based on the research type uh, maybe they may have certain research within them so the base the basic uh, questions from their research may be asked to that's it sir. no no not uh, much complicated concepts are asked so the gate preparation itself sufficient for entering into this particular uh, interview part so what about your future plan so once after joined for this particular mtech i would like to get developed much more into the uh, a collaboration with biomedical and the pcb development with the uh, biomedical industry after which uh, i like to enter into the manufacturing industry uh, which any company like siemens and ge healthcare uh, i am very glad that uh, i'll get the enough support from the iit uh, based on the building ideas of ai and uh, pcb development yeah yes. so uh, what are the mistake you done in the gate preparation because uh, you prepared something so got into some good rank but what are the mistakes because mistake is very important to for juniors who comes and preparing for this gate exams actually uh, i didn't give much importance to engineering mathematics which i have earlier said it is very much important so i just left uh, I, i think i would have left uh, nearly about 5 to 6 marks in the engineering mathematic concepts uh, which were very basic uh, if i would have uh, studied the basic concept and the basic formulation i would have cracked it uh, even even much better so i would uh, like to uh tell to my juniors that please concentrate on the engineering mathematics subject which will gain you a good mark and a good rank yeah so how many hours you prepared because uh, some there are students uh, for example 6 months before they used to join for gate exam how to make it themselves uh, to confident and how many hours uh, definitely it is required for the gate preparation and how previous year question paper will help for your preparations uh previous year question papers will help us concept wise so and uh, we'll we'll also know how the questions are asked for example uh, we would have a question that combine that combines concepts from two subjects so likewise we'll uh, we'll get a basic idea on how how the question paper will be and even the aptitude and uh, engineering mathematics questions may also re- repeat with the concepts so previous year question papers was uh, foundation and i prepared for uh, about 2 uh, hours uh, a day uh, which will 2 uh, hours minimum so it will take about 3 to 4 hours if i have time so that have uh, made me uh, uh, clear with the concepts so i used to tell to students initially start with one hour preparation and later on you can try to improve uh, to hours uh, three maybe three hours na no? number of hours preparation so don't lose your confident and um, finally uh, we'll congratulate uh, again once more uh, mr ashwin to get into this rank as well as iid admissions and even uh, from coimbatore he studied in one of uh, uh, good new uh, institutions in coimbatore and uh, private institutions so in which if you have a confident definitely we can achieve within 6 to 7 months preparation in gate exams also and uh, will you recommend uh, this institution to juniors who ever ready for the preparation for gate examination i have already recommended few juniors uh, to to study here because uh, we'll not be having uh, our syllabus is entirely different from what is asked in gate we'll also study the analog uh, circuits digital circuits and the linear integral circuits but the concept uh, which is covered in gate is quite different from what we have studied so to get a uh, to get a basic idea i i just suggest them to uh, to get into this institute and get knowledge uh, on the uh, electrical part uh, and as well as few general aptitude parts are well trained here i just suggest my juniors to take part here yes 
So thanks, sir, and uh, you uh, you purchase some sweets for uh, giving to our uh, uh, students as well as our uh, uh, institutions. Thank you. So meanwhile, I'll hand over uh, one uh, gift uh, for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So students, uh, wish you all the best and uh, don't lo lose your confidence. Only uh, this is a kind of competitive exam all over India, but uh, effectively preparing students only. 20-25% students among the appeared candidate. Uh, don't lose your confidence. Definitely, you are the person to get into good rank. And even 50% subjects, if you gone through very well, definitely will achieve. And uh, how to avoid that? Uh, your uh, negative marking systems. Uh, there are there are questions. MCQ is based on uh, negative marking system, right? So, uh, did you answer all the questions, or maybe you chosen only few questions? Actually, we can confidently attend the uh, multiple selective questions, so it doesn't have any negative marks. So, multiple selective questions will not have any negative markings and you will be guided if it has negative marking on the top of the question paper. So, you just look on to it and uh, the general instructions which is given uh, in prior to the exam, you just read it once. So, uh, the questions which does not contain any, any negative markings, you can uh, go you can go into it confidently. But the questions which has negative mark, for example, the multiple choice questions and the rest of the questions, you will have negative markings. Just think in uh, you just think before that uh, I just uh, left two to three questions. I just gone into without having. Uh, I just thought it would be the answer, but it was not the answer. So be uh, if you are confident in multiple choices, you just go go into it, or else just take a uh, take a chance by leaving it, so that you will not lose any marks. So uh, actually, I will summarize once more. And uh, you have a questions MCQ, MSQ, NAT, three type of questions. So multiple choice questions MCQ have a uh, negative marking system. You have to uh, leave in case if you not understood or maybe not able to answer. In case MSQ multiple select questions more than one option is correct, then yeah. you have to answer it because there is no negative marking. And absolutely, negative marking system is not available for a numerical answer type. For that, you have to upload your numerical number. So that is what uh, he was telling. So this is and all uh, uh, will help you to uh, get your confidence to prepare your uh, upcoming examination. Wish you all the best. So those are uh, interested to learn in Tamil. Uh, there is an another video which is available in this uh, YouTube channel itself. Try to see one more video which is uh, exclusively we discussed in same thing in Tamil language. Wish you all the best for best success. Thank you.